Hello, I'm Green. And I'm Purple. Welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. And we're kind of trying to get Paws out of here. Uh-oh, there's another guy out here. No, he, oh. Wait, is there a guy sleeping right in front of him and he doesn't... Yeah, he did not notice it. <laughs> I said the AI is smart. It's not that smart all the time. Okay. This part is really open, which makes it stressful. Luckily, my guy over there is still asleep, so it looks like this route's still clear. Problem is, our... See that little square right there? Yeah. That's where our helicopter pickup point is. Oh. So we need to get over there. Now, I could take all the way around, but I'm going to try and go this way. Just, like, cut right through? Yeah, which, it's heavier guarded, but it's quicker, which means there's less chance someone's going to see us. So it's kind of a, a give-and-take type of thing. Okay, this part's stressful. We should be okay thing with reflex mode gives you like a little more confidence to try some different things because you know that you know if someone sees you you still have that little bit of time to try and blah, blah, blah. and fix it uh -oh. Stop. oh I see him if he comes over here it'll actually be better but if he doesn't well we know where he is do they say what was that noise uh I think a couple of them do oh oh why wow. hey hey there he where do you think you're going he just Ooh. there's the tank Getting it would be too big of a risk. Aww. But the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. Okay. We're doing okay. The darkness. Getting, getting across that road is like the hardest part. The darkness consumes me. <laughs> Mr. Chooch, no! <laughs> Everyone should check out Extra Fabulous Comics if you haven't. They're fantastic. And see, once, if we can get her out without alerting people, we just have to go to the um, prison yard over here to get Chico, and it's, like, not very far from the uh, extraction point, which makes it a lot easier. So we're doing okay. Let's get out of here. I'm not bothering to, like, hide any of them, because if they get discovered, people are going to go back there to look for me, Yeah. which will actually draw them away from where I actually am going to be, which will help me. Okay. And I'm not going to call the helicopter just for pause. I'm going to wait until uh, we have all of the people we need and then just get them all out at once. Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm, like, so invested. I'm not, I guess. <laughs> That's why it's like, I just... I don't know, I'm, just, I'm too invested in this, I don't want to talk. It's funny, because it's like cinematic, even whenever... Because that's one thing that this game and Metal Gear Solid 5 do very well, and is it like, it lets you create your own, like, action set pieces and stuff. Yeah. Like, you can go through entirely without finding anybody, you can take a rocket launcher and just start blowing <laughs> stuff up. Like, you can do whatever you want. Okay, so there's this little cave right here. Yeah. I'm just going to leave her here. And then, uh... Snake's like, uh-oh. Is she okay? She's fine. And he's like, yeah, just, uh, there you go. You're fine. It's okay, you're fine. All right, yeah. so she's good. They're not going to find her over here because they don't come over here. Now we just have to go, see, there's the is prison just, camp that we were Is that a plot convenience thing? Yeah. Well, and I mean, they don't really have a whole lot of reason to just come over in this like, they stationed two guards over here, so obviously they can tell that it's some sort of, like, infiltration point. But, yeah, they, they won't come over there. Ooh, someone's up there. Oh, hello. Uh, what was that? Oh, I just got a pain in my side. Oh, my <gasps> God. <laughs> okay, I only have two more bullets with the tranquilizer gun. Oh, that's what you do. <laughs> There might be some more in this little, like... I don't care what... If you're getting shot with a tranquilizer, like, in the eye, that's probably gonna kill you. Well, yeah, you're probably right. Okay, not... So, you can find ammo laying around, but the tranquilizer rounds are, like, the hardest to find. Obviously. Because, you know, I'm assuming most of these guards are equipped to kill. Yeah. Yeah, they're not, they're not aiming to put you to sleep. <laughs> they're not like the stormtroopers. Gotta be careful here because you can fall off the edge and die and you can also drop prisoners off the edge and then if they die 
Jeez. It's not great. I'm gonna go and take out Spotlight, dude. But I'm gonna try and CQC him, that way we don't waste our one bullet we have left. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot you took another shot. Hi, rat. Bye, rat. Go away, you rat! You dirty rat! Hey, buddy. Hey, hey. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> okay. That's a gun. <laughs> it's very yeah. effective. Especially against living things. Okay. Talking to my grandma again. Still Hi. Again. Okay. Careful here. Okay, let's go take out that guy. I'm trying to think of, uh... I'm coming. I'm coming for you. I'm coming. Swoogity swooty. I'm coming for that booty. And see, if it wasn't raining right now, he would, hear he would have heard me. Okay, so we got the... We have a car parked over here. Yeah. Which can actually be useful, because we're going to be transporting a lot of prisoners from here. Oh, no. Oh, here goes my last bullet. Make it count. Nice. Okay. But From my perspective, it looked like it, like, barely grazed his head, but... <laughs> it grazed it enough, though. Okay. I think... I think we... Got something wrong with your back? Yeah. Is your back hurting? No, it's just, like, every now and then my lower back will just, like... It Cramp gets up. Yeah. I'm old. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're basically just an old man in a young person's body. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I think is going on here. I'm like, what's it, what's it going to be like when I actually do get old? <laughs> You're just going to be super old. <laughs> Alright. So here's all of our prisoners. How many is it? Uh, with paws, one, two, three, four, five. There's six with paws, and then there's that one that we didn't get. So, yeah, I was right. About There's seven in total, I believe. Sweet! So here's Chico. Yo, Chico. I was about to say something, but it was kind of offensive. I'll let you. I'll leave that up to your discretion. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, you're just laughing at it to yourself now. I won't say it because some people are too um too sensitive, but okay. <laughs> it was good. <coughs> Well, thanks for letting leaving everyone hanging. <laughs> I had a really good joke. I'm not gonna tell it. <laughs> All right, now I'm not. I, this is. Don't be too sensitive over this, because I know some of you guys are. But okay. I'm just joking. I kind of wanted Snake to be like Chico, and he like pulls out a churro. He's like, "Got a churro for you. Come on, boy, we got up." Caleb, I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I want to go for a churro. Man, I mean, I'd probably go with Snake even if he didn't have a churro, but churro would definitely seal it for me. He choked Chico out because Chico was freaking out because he's been tortured, so he's, like, yeah. freaked out by everything. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if I was tortured, I'd probably be on edge, too. And then the rest of them are, like, yelling because they're like, oh, there's someone here. Please save me. And then boss is like, shut up. You're going to get us all killed. <laughs> okay. Let's get Chico. I'm gonna try something. It might blow everything out of the water, <laughs> but we're gonna try it. Yeah, it's just like I said before. Torture is not a. Okay, so they just realized Paws was gone. Oh, what? That quickly? Well, I mean, she's been gone for about five, ten minutes. So it, like, some of them came back and realized that she wasn't there. Oh, right, 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 right. Sorry. Because this is Chi Chico. Yeah, this is Chico. I remember. Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense then. All We're right. getting you out of here. Right over don't, his body. Don't, yeah, don't. If you run over it, it does count as a kill. What? But you didn't kill him. The car did. <laughs> Caleb, I don't think that'll hold up in court. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't kill her. The car did. There was this one, uh... There's this one woman who I think her and her husband were getting, like, they, you know, obviously they had the dispute, and, like, I think the husband was, like, uh, I think he was just shopping, he was, like, out, you know, shopping and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and the woman was in her car, and she, like, tried to run him over. Oh. The guy was, like, he was, like, really good at dodging her, though, but <laughs> she did, like, crash into a few stores and stuff like that. Well, I mean, that'll do it. 
All right, we're loading up this car. Do we have enough time? Uh, we're gonna try. Thing is, at this point, like, if they figure out, we're just gonna have to call the chopper and try and get out of here. And also, I have to be careful because I can drive this car off the cliff pretty easily. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone. To freedom! <laughs> And also, if I park it too close to the landing zone, the helicopter won't be able to land. Alright. I'll try and come back for the other two if I have time. But, we'll get these people out of here first. But... <laughs> You're gonna save me, right? Man, I don't have time, bye! <laughs> but, the others! Mm. Oh no. Back, back sorry, it guys. up, back it up! Okay. Run! Crush their bodies! Ugh. I'm a dark man. Okay. Also, we don't want to crash. <laughs> uh, this will be good. Okay. And then we're just gonna drop them off at our little spot. Um, and uh, actually, I'm gonna end it right there. And when we come back, we'll get everyone out of here, and we'll we'll leave this mission. We'll be true heroes. Bye, everybody. See ya.